how, how strong he is, but I guess we're about to find out. It's a volatile matchup. It's the kind of thing where you can play bad for two seconds and lose two stocks. Yeah, So that's for sure. I think Fat Goku is going to be the green one. Okay. Ooh, I like the Waveland bait already. Okay, and he reads a really fast side view with that forward smash. Uh, doesn't pan out. Yeah, that's always that's always a bit of a bummer, but if you've got a read on someone's movement this early into the game, don't worry if your timing's a little off. Just be like, okay, cool. I've got an idea of what he's doing. Right. And on the flip side, if you get if something gets called out like that, don't let the fact that you lived make you think, hey, that was great. Pay close attention to what they did and right. whether or not they know what you're doing. Yeah, for sure. Because uh you have to recognize, so you're, you're, you're saying you have to recognize when it's like, okay, I'm actually living on borrowed time right now. This yeah. guy's actually, he, he, knows what I, he knows what I'm up to. Uh, I gotta switch it up. Yeah. And, oh, there we go. That's, That's extremely smooth tech chase, and I like the choice of pushing him to the Ooh. platform, catches man the double jump. Is he dead? Yeah. He's De pretty dead. <laughs> Zero to death. That was a very clean combo. That's what we, that's what you want to see out of Fox or those. And so what that tells me is that if, if Fat Goku's playing like that, you know, he's, he's hitting his, you know, bona fide real Fox combos, it's kind of on Grime Reaper to step it up and like, yeah. it's not, you're not going to win this because your opponent's, opponent's playing poorly. Yep. We got right there. We got the flow chart back here. Mm -hmm. Tip for tat. It's a stock off at just the same. Tech chase, yeah. He's hitting those. Ooh. And again, Perfect. another wow. nice force to the ground using the Fox ground speed to actually catch up. One of the best things you can do as Fox is just abuse the fact that you're so fast on the ground, send them low, and get there. Don't worry about getting juggles all the time unless, I guess they're a floaty, and that's right. what you do. 80 right. up airs. Because they're not going to be on the ground. And geez, the follow-ups from Fat Goku right now. Yeah, that is... A little slow on the uh, the flow chart back here, but nice. Fat Goku commanding game one. Shoo. That was actually yeah, that was pretty violent. <laughs> Grime Reaper, I mean he he had some he had some nice little plays at the beginning. I liked his waveland back to grab. Like, you know, he went for like a back throw into very specific read on on an edge guard gimp. And uh, Fat Goku just had zero to deaths off up throws the whole game, so yep. Ooh, yeah, that that looks just about right. That's you know that honestly, it kind of looks like he's been studying our model left and matches. Yeah, just straight up. That was that was so straight out of Europe. Yeah, like yes. the rising bear that says, "Okay, if you go low, it's gonna catch you. If you go high, I have time to find you." Yeah, pushes him out. Does that that long graceful drop? Yeah, yeah. Because you want to get there the, the last moment when when the when the fire is is uh is, is done being active. Yep. Oh, Ooh, yeah, and that, from earlier on, when he totally called out the, when you pointed out, he called out forward, forward B with forward smash, mm -hmm. and it didn't work out. He's been reading those forward Bs so successfully. The last time, he got a roll into grab, and this time he actually just went all the way to the end and <laughs> stood it. there, yeah. and Grime Reaper fell right into it. Yeah, that was actually sick. So, I don't know, I mean, we've seen in game one, yeah, again, he's doing that ledge shop side B. Uh, he should definitely be noticing that it's getting called out. Yep. And in that case, even though he didn't get hit, he actually put himself just back in the corner on the other side of Fountain with it. And it and caused him to end up in the exact same position that he was before. Mm -hmm. Nope. Fat Goku trying to, trying to do moonwalks now. Trying to do something, yeah. I think I think he's feeling himself. Feeling I, himself. I, yeah, <laughs> I would say so. I would say at this point, I think to him, uh, the set probably feels like a foregone conclusion. Um, and the onus is on Grime Reaper yep. to pull this back. I mean, it's Ooh, it's a fox ditto. You're always a couple shines away from losing, but yeah. that is contingent upon actually having the control that that gets in on having the reads on the other person's movements. And right now, he's the one looking like he's about to get blip blipped. And yeah, ooh, but he does. You know, he gets a little he gets a little freebie. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the dash dance grab platform from the fountain being fat goku's homie right there and ooh i'm yep. liking the fast fall up airs though yeah for sure but see that and, and that that edge guard you're just praying right you're sitting there like please go to the ledge yeah and yeah. I, I know if you took a second and looked at me you would see that i'm charging a forward smash and you'd never go to the ledge but i'm really hoping i catch you off guard right now yeah i hope you made the decision so far in advance <laughs> that you don't even look at me yeah, yeah it's kind of hard to like change the joystick position in a way that's not going to get you killed, right. but when you literally have everywhere else to go but down and forward, like, you could go straight up and you'd survive. Right. You know? Yeah. Right. Up throw up here, that'll do it. Good stuff to Fat Goku. Solid set. Yeah. Grime Reaper, I mean, he moved fine. Mm -hmm. He looked like he had the right idea on follow-ups. He was mostly just off by a tiny bit. We saw a couple... We saw him basically repeat the same edge guards back to Fat Goku, said, you can do it, I can do it too. Mm -hmm. So... Nothing really wrong with this play, just 
outplayed a little bit, a little faster, a yeah. little sharper. And it seemed like he had, uh, you know, he had some, he had some smart plays in the beginning, but it, it did feel like as he started getting steamrolled, he definitely had some desperation moves he was sort of doing, yeah, yeah. and, and he he kind of stopped trying to actually bait Fat Goku in and just like, kind of seemed like he was just hoping to get hits. Yeah. So I mean, that definitely happens when you start falling behind. Like, the moment you see glimmer of hope anywhere, right. because you have nothing, you jump at it. And a lot of the times, that's what better players exploit. Is they give you these fake openings, and after you've gotten you know smacked around the level so much the entire game, you're like, oh, you're letting me back on right here, and then suddenly there's something really embarrassing waiting for you on right. the other side. And it's like, you idiot, what are you doing here? You know that's not going to work. It's yeah. like, yeah, but when you're in control, you can always make the other guy look kind of like a chump. So, and props to Fat Goku. He hit a lot of really. I just want to say solid conversions. Yeah. Any Anytime we're watching a match, we're saying, ooh, that was straight out of Sweden. That's like a good sign usually for the yeah. Fox. It means you pretty much did the literally correct thing. Yeah. That's, so that's be, absolutely be glad you've got that in your toolkit. Yep. Oh, we know this Falcon. Definitely know this Falcon. Do you know this Marth? ADLP? ADLP? No. We'll say I like his shirt and I like his hat. Is that the is that the melee character select screen on his shirt? That is actually sick. I need that shirt. That's fantastic. Oh, my God. I hope he wins the tournament. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, I will say... Uh